Animated text can add drama, energy, or rhythm to your message. In this lesson, we'll explore the text effect in Framer and how to bring those headings, bullets, and even body copy to life. To add a text effect in the first place, we just need to make sure that we have a text layer selected. Otherwise, it won't even show up on the properties panel. So hopping into our project file here, I've got a text box with a heading and I've got a text box with some body copy. I'm gonna start with the heading. And with this text box selected, we can just come over here to the properties panel, click on effects. And because we have a text layer selected, we see the text effect as an option. If I click on that, I get the popover with some familiar settings. We get trigger where we get to choose from on appear, layer in view or section in view. So essentially we've got our appear effects for text and we've got our scroll effects for text all built into this one effect that shows up in this one popover. Since the text I have here on this page is above the fold, meaning we don't have to scroll to see it, I'm just gonna do the on appear trigger. So that way the text effect happens as soon as the page loads. And then we get some preset animations to choose from. We have things like blur, flip, shake, etc. I'm gonna stick with blur as my starting point, but then arguably the most important property here for text effects is that we get to decide if we wanna animate per character, word, line or element. So with this set to character, you can see in the little preview above that our blur effect is happening to each individual character with a little bit of a stagger between each character animating in. Depending on which option you choose here, you might also notice a slight difference in the kerning between some of the characters depending on which font you're using. For example here, if I set character, we've got a little bit more kerning here between the T and the E, but if I set this to word, we don't. And that has to do with the way the text is being diced up behind the scenes to make the individual pieces animate, but it's just something to be aware of. It's not really a problem. It's just if you notice it happening, that's why. But for this heading, I'm actually just gonna do the whole element all at once, but we'll play with some of these other ones for the body copy down below since we've got more content to work with. And then the next property we have is to customize the effect if we don't wanna go with the defaults of the preset that's chosen. And then we have delay, which is the initial delay before the whole animation starts. There is another delay, we'll get to that in a second, but this one here is the initial one-time delay before the whole animation begins. But now let's get into customizing this effect a little bit. Just like the appear effects that we apply to normal layers, we get a list of properties that we can animate. And by default, this blur preset that we started with is gonna have the opacity go from zero to one. It's gonna have the scale start at one and end at one. And I'm actually gonna change this. I want the text to kind of look like it's coming into focus and moving in just a little bit. So I'm gonna set this to a scale of 1.2. And up here in the preview, we can see what that looks like. The text kind of floats in and lands and comes into focus as it moves into place. And then down here, we have the actual blur amount. I'm gonna leave it at 10. I think that's plenty of blur. And then we have a Y offset of 10 pixels, and that's just gonna push the text down by 10 pixels at the beginning of the animation. So that way it moves up just a hair as it comes to rest. And then last but not least, we have our transition, which is currently set to spring, which is fine, but I do wanna slow this down a little bit. Rather than 0.4 seconds, I'm gonna do two entire seconds here. And then I mentioned before that there is another delay. This delay here is that stagger I was talking about between characters, words, or lines. But because we're animating this H1 heading as all one single element, this delay is actually irrelevant, but we'll come back to it when we do the characters in the paragraph of text below. Cool, so I'll just go back one step and I'll just check the little preview here. And there we go, we get something a bit more gradual and dramatic. But let's actually preview what our text looks like by pressing Command P on my Mac to go into the preview window. And it played real quick there, but I'll click reload in the top left corner here to make that play again. So you could see we get that blur, that 10 pixels of blur, we get that 10 pixels of Y offset, so the text rises up just a little bit as it comes to rest. And that gives it a bit more of that 3D effect because it looks like it's traveling through space before it comes to rest on the page. Now let's do that little paragraph of text down below because there's a lot more content there for us to work with. So I'm gonna leave preview mode. I'm gonna select this text box, head back over to effects, and again, choose to add the text effect. And again, for this one, I'll keep it triggered on appear so that it plays as soon as the page loads. I'm gonna run with that blur preset again, but this time let's compare per line 
per word and per character. I'm going to start with per line. And I don't want any delay on this, but I am going to go into the effect so that way I can get into the transition and slow this thing down. But what I'm slowing down is each line of text. So I don't want to slow things down too much, but I am going to go with a time just above half a second at 0.6. And I'm going to leave the default delay alone just for now at 0.05 seconds, which again, this delay is the stagger between the individual lines that are going to animate in or the words or the characters, depending on how we have our settings set. But we're starting with lines. So this is a 0.05 second stagger between the first line, the second line and the third line. So let's actually see what that looks like. I'm going to press command P again on my Mac to go into preview mode. And there we go. I'm going to play that back because it happened kind of fast. But you can see that the first line, the second line and the third line have an ever so slight stagger between them as they come into view. So let's go back. Let's make the stagger a bit more dramatic. So again, I'm going to go into the effect so that way I can get to the transition. So that way I can make a more drastic decision here. I'm going to go way drastic, 0.2, which is four times longer than it was before. And I'll go back into preview. And there we go. Now you can really see the stagger between those lines. But let's see what animating by word looks like. So I'm going to go back into the popover and I'm going to set per instead of per line. I'm going to go to per word. And again, let's preview this and see what it looks like. So you can see with the same stagger, this animation does take a lot longer to complete, which makes sense because there are many more individual words than there were individual lines of text. And we're applying the same animation settings to each of those individual words as we were to the very few individual lines that we had before. So let's push this even further. I'm going to head back to the popover one more time, and I'm going to set this on per character instead of per word. And you can see in the preview that we get that staggered effect between each and every individual character. And if we preview this, this is going to take a whole heck of a lot longer to complete because now we've got a relatively long delay staggering each of these individual character animations. So let's definitely speed that up. I'm going to go back one more time and head back over to the text effect popover. And then down here, I'm going to go back into the effect so that way I can get back to the transition so that way I can access the delay. And I'm going to go even quicker than the 0.05 default that we had originally. And I'm going to set this to 0.02 because we've got a lot of characters to get through. And I'll add a little bounce while we're here. Why not? I'll add a little 0.6 of bounce to make this slightly more expressive and fun and press command P again to go into preview mode. And there we go. We got our big heading that's coming in slowly and dramatically, like it's got a bit of weight to it. And then we got the paragraph below coming in character by character, but with such little stagger that it's a very fluid animation and the lines look like they're just getting painted in one after the other after the other with that little bit of playful easing that we get from the bounce. And there you have it. Now you know how text effects can reinforce a message letter by letter, word by word, line by line, or all at once. Just don't forget that text is for reading, so use a bit of restraint. A little motion goes a long way. That's it for this one. I'll see you in the next one.